Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do what I call internal rhythm. This is kind of how I broke things down and it's not exactly the same as classical kind of theory, but it tackles the same thing. Um, so what we're trying to do when we're looking at rhythm, uh, we're trying to listen to music and uh, uh, find something that we can repeatedly count <laughs> that when we say the things, the music kind of plays along with it. Um, all music is kind of built off this rhythm of we're taking a breath and then we're dividing that space and time symmetrically as possible into either one, two, three, four, uh, five, although that one's a weird one, six, seven's also another weird one, uh, seven, eight, and nine, and you can keep going if you want to. Um, I only find I use up to four, unless I'm getting really technical, then I'll start breaking things down into nine, but if you're looking at this stuff and getting a little overwhelmed, you only really need to learn to four. Um, if you just want to be able to, you know, spit things out. Um, so each of these breaths, we, we can look at it in two ways. We can look at it as kind of a cycle of breathing in and a cycle of breathing out. Uh, which I guess you can call it even breathing or an even measure. Or, um, actually you know, that would kind of be a little more oddish. Uh, or you can have the other way of instead of having this as one in and one out, you can bend it in and have it a breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And this is kind of just, we're taking that idea of a breath and we're kind of applying a little bit of math and a little bit of just body mechanics um, to produce a beat that uh, if it was to go on forever, it would still kind of be similar enough. Um, so that's the breath. Let's look at the pulses. Um, you'll never really see this number when we're writing kind of stuff, just because it's always assumed, literally to the point that you never see a one four time or a one anything time. Uh, it's always just assumed that whatever this spot starting of the breath is just always going to be the start of the pulse as well, and then from there it kind of has to divide within itself. So if this was just a bar, 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 and we wanted to divide in two, we would find the halfway point, and then we would go pulse, pulse, bar, pulse, bar, then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we can break that down again by doubling it. So where it still kind of has this two feel, but the two feel is within the two feel. And this is, uh, uh, so we, now we have, instead of one, two, one, two, we break that down into halves. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And if we want to go to eight, we can just do the same thing again and again and again. Oh, one, two, three, four, 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 two, two, three, four, one, da, 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 two. Now let's look at it in four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then look at an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As we can see, what we're really trying to do is we're taking this big chunk and we're seeing how many spots can we evenly fit in there. Um, and that's kind of all like an even kind of feel. Uh, when you start kind of getting in between, it's really weird how even feels even and odd stuff kind of start to feel odd. Of where even breaks it down into one and then odd kind of breaks it down to twos and then one and then starts flipping within itself of where if we were going one, 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 and we wanted to add, and uh, we wanted to bring it up to two, we would have to find the halfway point. One, two, one, two, one, two. 
And if we wanted to find three, we would have to find two pulses, to, uh, two extra pulses to kind of add in there and it starts sounding faster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Add another pulse, it starts sounding faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get up to six. Ba, 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 ba. Find the two. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, add three and it keeps getting more and more complicated that way and this is just what you can do with this first top number and all what you're trying to do is within this little kind of break and <laughs> within this little kind of uh, repeating uh, beat you're trying to find a beat within the beat and then the next is you have the sub pulses which is the beat within the beat within the beat <laughs> Um, and I've always broken this down into one of four ways. Within each pulse, so when we're talking one, two, one, two, every single one of those things can be broken down one more time. Um, uh, and it can be broken down into, uh, uh, just a simple one of where nothing really changes. And it's just kind of whichever X or whichever pulse you're on. So it'd be one, two. One, two, one, two. Now if we wanted to divide one of those pulses, or both of those pulses, we would kind of make a little scratch right there, and then we would speak it out as whichever the pulse is, and then one more kind of word to, one little saying to kind of break apart um, what you're trying to talk about. So we have one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Uh, and that's just one way of talking how to say, this is the pulse, here's the sub-pulses, here's the pulse, here's the sub-pulses. Um, or we can do exactly with what we did over here, but within each of these beats, if we can break them into three of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Within the one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. But this is why I, th we have the sub-pulse kind of language of, that gets really confusing. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Eh? Um, so an easier way to break that down is you use the pulse, and instead of counting out the three, it's an and, a. Uh. So one and, a, uh, two and, a, uh, three and, a, uh, four and, a, uh, one and, a, uh, two and, a, uh, three and, a. Uh. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two. Or we could break it down to four. One, two, three, four. And same idea, but now we just kind of toss a little E before a little thing to break it up into pulse, super, <laughs> super sub sub pulse, the sub pulse and super sub sub pulse. Uh, one e and a one e and a one uh, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a. So we, and then if we want to make it, let's say two four time, then it'd be one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a three four time would be one e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a. If we wanted to do, let's say four two time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, or let's say we're doing like a, one of those like Chicago blues kind of things. They like to do four three time, uh, of where one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. In classical, it would be called twelve eight time, um, which in its own little way makes sense. Uh, but essentially without all the weird jargon, what, <laughs> turning it into a, a, a speakable language, uh, what you're trying to do is take these repeatable pulses, or take these repeatable breaths, and then you're gonna tell them, or listen, or try and guesstimate how many of these big blobs kind of fit in to that space. And then within each of those blobs, you might find uh, some of them might have two in them, some might have three. You can start creating different vocal rhythms just very simply out of just breaking down the subdivisions within themselves. Um, maybe I should write something using this. I haven't done that in a while.
Well, anyways, that's, uh, that's just a quick breakdown of how I think of rhythm. Now let's go into a breakdown of how normal people think of rhythm. Thank you for watching. I hope it was informative. Um, I will be leaving a pop quiz on my Patreon account, so follow the link down below. And I've written out a rhythm uh, I think you guys can figure out. It's a it's an old Christmas ditty. Um, and I, I've made one little slight change, but I think you guys can figure out. All right. Thanks for listening, uh, or, or watching. Watching would be a lot better. Uh, watching and listening at the same time is the best. Um, later.